All right, how we doing? All right, drawing class. So this week, I know we got a lot of things we're gonna be going over uh, that's doing online. <clears throat> and I really want you to understand, uh, I'm not expecting you to get everything done um, very quickly. Uh, I'm expecting you to watch the video a couple times, uh, stop and go back over. Um, pay attention to the small details in these videos. Um, now I posted four to five perspective videos. Some are easier, some are harder. Uh, I want you to choose which one works best for you. Hopefully my video today will make it a little bit easier. I will be shooting a video where I've made a little apparatus where it held, holds my phone. Um, and I'm gonna do a one-point perspective today. Uh, next video you'll see will be a two-point perspective, okay? Now, when you're looking at perspective, the key to perspective, it is your eye level. That is the key, okay? It's where you look at something. Now, <clears throat> the part about it is I want you to understand is where you draw your horizon line, okay? It's not 50% of your page. It's a little bit above 50%. So when I am making my lines, I'm gonna be really kind of hitting the importance of that. Because when we stand and we're looking at any, you know, horizon, we generally see more ground than we see sky. And that is important to understand. And a lot of people would think we see the sky more. But when you look at, like if you've ever been to an ocean or a desert area and you look out on a horizon where it's very flat, you'll think that there is more sky the way where you're standing. But when you really look and you put that horizon right to where your eye is, you will notice that you will actually see more going down than up. Okay, so I'm going to do an example. So... I have my hand right where my eye is and I can see it in the video. Okay, I want you to see, okay, I can still see one, two, three, four. Okay, I can't see as much, so that's four. Okay, do it again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and went about every same segment, so I'm gonna to try to do the other side. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. Now I can still see my hand at seven. All right, I know you can't see it on the page, but when you're looking from that depth, okay, that seven spots to four spots, okay, I want you to keep that in mind when you're drawing perspective. That is a trick, that's a huge trick to this. A lot of times when I see it on the computer done, people will do it at 50%. And the video I sent you has that where it's 50% and it looks like a computer did it. It doesn't look real. All right. And that is the importance about this process is trying to make it as realistic as possible. Now I got two that I'm going to show you. I'm got one that's a little bit more complex and I got one that's more simplified. It doesn't matter which one you do. Okay. I want you to choose the one you feel comfortable with. Remember, these are for, for your portfolio. Do people look for these? Yes. This is something that most schools will want to test on, okay? Uh, just to see if you understand perspective. It's very important and it is a cr crucial part of learning. So I'm gonna really hit home on this process, all right? I'm actually very good at doing this. Naturally, my work has a lot of architecture in it. Uh, I actually love working on perspective it's to me it comes simple but for you it might not so i want to make sure that it fits your you know temperament so i have a couple easy steps hopefully it makes sense to you and if it doesn't feel free to email me text me okay and show me pictures you know while you're going through it i'm lost i can't get this well then I can quickly draw on my computer and hopefully be able to help you, okay? To make it more, make more sense, okay? 
After this lesson, we're going to do one point, two point perspective. Then we are going to work on faces. Okay, next. And if you notice on the blackboard that I have a group of perspectives, then I have a group of faces down below. Okay, that is basically two weeks worth of video research that I've done for you that you can look up. Now, if you see something out there that's even better, feel free, email it to me. Let me know, okay? Because the more I know, the better it is for you guys. And if it works best for you and this person that you find on the internet, because there's tons and tons of videos out there, and I might not know about it, but you know about it. And if it fits your temperament and you like it, great, okay? So, next thing you're going to see, you're going to see an image of my hallway in my house. Then, uh, I'm going to draw that out. The next part you're going to see is you're going to see um, my dining room entryway of my house, part of my kitchen, and my two little steps that go into my den. Okay, and I'm going to draw that. Now, the first one, I'm going to do a lot of talking through. Second one, not going to do very much talking. And actually, that might even be part two of a video. I find it easier if I keep these in 15 minute segments, it downloads a lot faster versus 30 minute segments. And right now I have it at close to seven minutes of talking right here. So I'll probably put this one up and then I'll put another one up and then another one. So this might be a three part section video. <clears throat> now, um, as you can see, I'm in my studio okay uh, if you look at my space it is a little bit messy so this is my studio okay so I got my lovely little doors <laughs> I can bring stuff in and out I have two workstations this is my big workstation this is how I am filming everything okay um, it's kind of a mess because I'm you know trying to get geared up for multiple classes uh, this is my table saw workstation for wood. This is all my paper station for paper. Over here, I have my my very messy uh, computer area <laughs> and more storage areas there. Uh, but this is my plotter. This is how I do all of my murals on that machine over there. And yeah, basically it. My my two windows, my door that goes in and out. Okay. So this is my space. This is where I work. So when I'm not teaching you guys, this is where I'm at. So it's nothing much, but it's a good space for me. And I love working in it. Okay. You can definitely tell I work in it because of all the mess. Okay. Uh, and this is actually kind of picked up, believe it or not. Okay. All right. It's part one perspective now.